we're going to be looking at the menus tab in the RDS Logic admin screen here. We've created our restaurant location on our customer facing website, but we don't have a menu in there yet. It's just the hours of operation and everything we've done in restaurant maintenance. So we'll hop back over to our RDS Logic admin page here. We'll go to menus, St. Louis, and we don't have any in yet. We'll do add new menu. We'll call it Strange Donuts and the date. We'll save it. And we'll add a menu heading. Have donuts. And dozen. Put our description in there and we'll save. We'll go ahead and add a couple more in right now. They only have a couple more. Coffee. Just leave it at that for now. We'll go to donuts. What we'll do is we'll add our menu items in now. And the best seller we have right now is just a variety of donuts through them, just a one dozen. That's active based off the restaurant markup, and it's not a specific price that we're, we're specifying a markup price. This is the price we're buying it for. This is the price we're selling it for. But we're going to actually just do it based off of restaurant markup. We don't have a markup on this restaurant. We do get a 30% discount, so this will be sufficient here just to put it. It does cost $12 in the store, and so it'll be $12 on our website as well. If we did have a markup, we'd still put $12 in here, and the markup would be entered in the restaurant maintenance. And this then, when customers would be shopping on your website, would show the increased price on, uh, on your site, on their menu on your website. This is available every day out of the week. We'll go ahead, we don't have any pictures of it. We'll save this. And we'll be able to see these items already when I refresh on our customer facing page. Actually, we do have to hop back in. After we've created our menu listing here, we can go ahead and finish it up later, but we'll hop back over to restaurants, go to our strange donuts listing, drop down to our now available menu, strange donuts, and save. And if we refresh now, we'll see that we have the one donuts, dozen donuts variety assorted donuts available and it looks like we did actually leave a markup in here we'll check out our financials there's a 25 percent markup on it now we zero that out click save and up our commissions back to 30 refresh on this side we'll see now it's at twelve dollars so that explains what the base off restaurant markup function in the menu settings does. So add a menu item. And we'll save that. There's a few other things we can do in our menus here, and those are going to be the options. We'll call this option Donut Variety. And we'll make them select one and they can only select the maximum of one.
We'll add in our sub options here. It doesn't cost any extra to get chocolate variety. All yeast donuts. It does cost one additional dollar to get all Long Johns as a dozen. So we'll go ahead and save that in there as costing an additional dollar, again, based off of restaurant markup. And we'll put this option, applying it to this item, and save. Now we'll see all of our stuff appearing here. Now we have our drop down box here chocolate variety, yeast donuts, or all long johns for an additional dollar. And 12 ounce coffee without any special instructions here. Just the please specify in special instructions how you would like your coffee. Or again, you could create options. This option will be title it for in-house use cream or sugar. Spelling error there. save and now our options will be applied instantly to our menu item on the customer facing side if you guys have any more questions please feel free to reach out on Yammer we'll be happy to answer them and we hope you have a great day